Hello my dear friends welcome back to Infigyan. Today in this video we have one very very interesting question from radical equations which we are going to solve in this video for the real values of x. So let's get started I can write denominator cannot be 0. So I will write here x plus 5 can't be 0. So our answer x cannot be equal to negative 5. Now I will subtract 1 from both the sides. So I will write here minus 1. Write here minus 1. Now plus and minus 1 we will cancel from our left hand side. I will write our equation square root 7 minus x over 5 plus x equal to x minus 1. Now to get rid of denominator from LHS, I need to multiply both sides by x plus 5 or 5 plus x. Let's multiply. I will write 5 plus x in the multiplication. And here also I will write 5 plus x. Now x cannot be equal to negative 5. So I can cancel these two. Now our equation will become a square root of 7 minus x equal to x minus 1 times x plus 5. Now we will multiply both the brackets. So I will write here x times x, x is square, x times 5, 5x, minus 1 times x, minus x minus 1 times plus 5 minus 5. So 5x five minus x is 4x. I will write x square plus 4x minus 5 in our RHS. x square plus 4x minus 5 this was equal to the square root of 7 minus x. Now I can write square root 7 minus x will be equal to x square plus 4x and minus 5 we can write 4 minus 9. Now from first three terms I can write one perfect square it is x plus 2 whole square. Then we have minus 9. LHS is square root 7 minus x. Now here we are getting x plus 2. Let's write x plus 2 over here also. So I can write here square root of 9 minus x plus 2. So 9 minus x minus 2. 9 minus 2 is 7. Equal to x plus 2 whole square minus 9. Now we can assume x plus 2, let's say, let's write here x plus 2, suppose this is equal to m. So I can write our equation in variable m as square root 9 minus m will be equal to m square minus 9. Now I will write this equality equal to suppose n. Let me write here a square root 9 minus m equal to n equal to m square minus 9. Now we have two equalities. So we will consider first one. So I will write square root 9 minus m equal to n. Consider squaring both sides. I can write 9 minus m equal to n square. And if I will compare this equality, I can write n equal to m square minus 9. Or I can write m square will be equal to n plus 9. 
सो लेट मी राइट हेयर नाइन प्लस एन इक्वल टू एम स्क्वायर नाउ आई विल सब्ट्रैक्ट सेकेंड इक्वेशन फ्रॉम फर्स्ट वन सो आई नीड टू चेंज द साइन सो आई विल राइट हेयर प्लस नाइन माइनस नाइन विल बी ओवर आई विल राइट माइनस एम माइनस एन इक्वल टू एन स्क्वायर माइनस एम स्क्वायर मल्टीप्लाई दिस इक्वेशन बाई माइनस वन आई विल गेट एम प्लस एन इक्वल टू एम स्क्वायर माइनस एन स्क्वायर नाउ आई विल टेक एम प्लस एन टू द आर एच एस एंड वी विल राइट अवर इक्वेशन एम स्क्वायर माइनस एन स्क्वायर माइनस ऑफ एम प्लस एन इक्वल टू जीरो now we will apply difference of two squares formula here we will write m plus n times m minus n minus m plus n equal to 0 now we will take m plus n common out so in other bracket we will write m minus n minus 1 equal to 0 now from this equation using product zero rule we can write either m plus n equal to 0 or m minus n minus 1 equal to 0 so from first equation i will get n equal to minus m and from second equation i can write n equal to m minus 1 which we will apply to our equation m square equal to n plus 9 so in place of n i will apply n equal to minus m first then we will apply n equal to m minus 1 so if i will consider n equal to minus m i will get m square equal to minus m plus 9 or i can get quadratic equation m square plus m minus 9 equal to 0 this is our first quadratic equation now we will apply n equal to m minus 1 so i can write m square equal to n plus 9 so now we have to apply n equal to m minus 1 we will get m square equal to m Minus one plus nine, which will give us m plus eight. If I will write all the terms to LHS, I will get our second quadratic equation: m square minus m minus eight equal to zero. So ultimately, we have to solve two quadratic equations. Let's solve this equation first. So I will use quadratic formula here. if i will write formula m equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times a c over 2 times a as per our equation i can write the value of a b c as a1 b negative 1 c negative 8 so i will get m equal to minus of minus 1 is plus 1 plus minus the square root of b square minus 1 square is 1 minus 4 times 1 times minus 8 which will give us plus 32 denominator is 2 times 1 so 2 so we are getting two real values of m 1 plus minus square root of 33 over 2 let me write in the box 
we will see which solution we are going to accept little later. Now I will solve our first quadratic equation m square plus m minus 9 equal to 0. So let me write here m square plus m minus 9 equal to 0. I will apply quadratic formula once again. So minus b minus of plus 1 is minus 1 plus minus square root of 1 square is 1 minus 4 times 1 times minus 9 will give us plus 36 and denominator will be 2 times 1 so 2. So I will get another 2 real values of m minus 1 plus minus square root 37 over 2. Now we have to decide which value we will accept and which value of m we will reject. So I will write our equation once. Equation was square root 9 minus m equal to m square minus 9. So for real m, I can say this radicant must be positive and our RHS must also be positive. So we will write two conditions, one from LHS, another from RHS. From LHS condition, I can write here m should be less than 9. Once m is less than 9, we will get a square root of positive number. Now from RHS condition, I will write m should be less than minus 3 or m should be greater than plus 3. This will bring real m. Now I need to consider the intersection of these two conditions. We can write our final intersection condition or restriction on m as m should be less than negative 3 or m should be in the interval 3 to 9. Then we will get real x or real m. Now we have to cross check. Let me write here our solutions. So I will write m equal to minus 1 plus minus square root 37 over 2 and the other two solutions were 1 plus minus square root 33 over 2. Now I will check the approximate decimal value here. So minus 1 plus square root 37 over 2. Approximately I am writing this is 2.5. Minus 1 minus root 37 over 2. Approximately minus 3.5. 1 plus root 33 over 2. Approximately 3.4. And 1 minus root 33 over 2. Approximately minus 2.4. Now as per our final condition on m, for x to be real, we are going to accept this one and the third one. These two solutions we are going to reject. So if I will write here m equal to, I can write second one is accepted. So minus 1 minus square root 37 over 2. And third one is 1 plus square root 33 over 2. Now if you remember our initial substitution was, the substitution was x plus 2 equal to m. So from here I can write x will be equal to m minus 2. So I will write here x equal to m minus 2 equal to minus 1 minus root 37 over 2 minus 2. So minus 1 minus 4 will give us minus 5. So our first solution would be minus 5 minus square root 37 over 2. Here also we will subtract 2. So I will write 1 plus square root 33 over 2 minus 2. So 1 minus 4 is minus 3. So we will get minus 3 plus square root 33 over 2. Here we have two real solutions which we are going to accept. 
i hope friends you will like this video thank you so very much for watching do not forget to hype like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck take care goodbye